This is 21 and today I'm going to be showing you how to how to install um, door handle turn signal LEDs. I've been getting a lot of requests for this video so we're just going to go right into it. First thing you're going to need is auto wiring. Here's a 40 foot roll right here. It's copper wiring. Um, I'm going to recommend you get two of these because you're going to need a lot of wiring. And if you want to hide the wires correctly and tuck them under panels and stuff, you're going to need a lot of extra. So get two of these rolls. This cost me $5 at Walmart per roll. Next thing you're going to need are the LEDs of your choice that you choose to go with. Now for this project, I chose originally the Flexi LED. This right here came with the two 8 inch um, LEDs. Um, and you're going to be cutting them in half so that you're only using six of the LEDs that come on the strip. This is what it looks like inside the box. I had to chop it in half, so I'm only using that portion with six, with three LEDs coming out of it in the wiring. Or you can opt for something a little bit more brighter and higher quality. These puddle lights, got these from Walmart, um, 15 bucks. The other ones came from the auto parts store, also 15 bucks. These are a lot brighter, so I'm gonna be using these. Here's the comparison. They're about the same, same length. I'm gonna show you y'all what I did here. All right, basically what I did was I came around to the trunk and if you see right here, the, the turn signals right here, it's wired back here. And if you look real close, that's the turn signal bulb. Let me see, get some focus, focus. There we go. That's the turn signal bulb right there. Um, the green one right there. And what I did was, I'm gonna pull this whole connector out so y'all can see what I did. All right, so this is the turn signal bulb right here. If you can see, I kinda got the I used a, um, a male speaker terminal. I'm sorry, y'all. This is kind of hard trying to do this with no camera, man. I'm trying to use my fingers here. I cut the male speaker terminal in half, the fork kind, and um, pretty much stuck it right in there. Right in there with the, the green and yellow wire, which is the turn signal wire. If you guys, you guys can do a better job than that wiring it up this is how i did it because it was supposed to be temporary like a prototype experiment type of thing but you can do a better job wiring it up to the to the green wire in there for the turn signal okay anyhow yeah i wired that up and then i ran that wire behind the panel of the trunk all the way up and then under the seats you push the seat forward and you can run the wires under there and then once you come inside the wires are coming from under the seat and they're under these panels here and then simply if you see this wire right here it goes to the door it goes inside the door you can do a cleaner job than this too but this is like I said temporary prototype job it's going into the door into the door panel and it's, I wired it around the um, window regulator so that when the window can go up and down, it won't make contact with the wiring. Basically, after that, once you get the front done, you can piggyback off of the wiring. Here's the wire right here. Um, you can piggyback off of this wire and then route the next wire up to the front door panel um, And you don't have to chop the wire all the way in half What I did was kind of slitted it and made like a little gap and then tied the other wiring Around it after I stripped it I tied it around it and then routed that wire up to the front door 
All right, since I could only use two hands, I'm just gonna show y'all an example of what I had did just now on that little break. You see that? That's what I did. And basically you're gonna take your other wire and that you're gonna use to route to the front and you're gonna strip it and you're gonna like wrap it around that stripped piece of wire and wrap it around there real tight. And then of course you're gonna wrap it up real good and with um, electrical tape because you don't want this touching the chassis right here. You don't want that. All right, um, this right here is called the wire stripper. This is what you use to strip the the um, black coating or whatever you want to call it, the, the um, insulation off of the wiring um, before you connect it. You can pick one of these up at the auto parts store or um, hardware store, or they even sell them at Walmart. They're real cheap, probably like around less than 10 bucks. All right, I stripped the installation off the wiring with the wire strippers. You see what I did there? That right there. And what I'm pretty much gonna do is, yeah, just like that. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna tie it like real tight and real tight knot. And then I'm gonna wrap it up in electrical tape really good. Trust me, that's the most important part. You don't want your car burn into the ground when you turn on your turn signal and it starts touching the frame and then the wires start getting hot and all everything starts melting and catch on fire you don't want that so make sure when you cut wires and strip it and stuff like this get some electrical tape this right here is really cheap you can find it just about anywhere and make sure you wrap up your job really good to where even nothing moving can't strip the electrical tape off of it that's really important cover this up all right, you see that? It's, it's twisted on there really tight. Now I'm gonna wrap it up really good with electrical tape. All right, she's all wrapped up. You see what I got going on? I got um, two wires combined. This wire originally is going into the back door and this wire is gonna run all the way up to the front door panel. So let's take a look. Here's the wire right here. It's tucked under the panel. I'm going to tuck it under the carpet too and run it all the way up to maybe to this point right here where I'm going to have it going in and behind the door panel. And we're going to pull the door panel off and I'm going to show you what we're going to do behind the door panel. Alright, so we're going to take the door panel off. And this car, screw, Phillips screw right there. And screw down in there. I'm going to use the circuit tester to pop this open so I can get to the screw. In there. All right, you can kind of see it. Just fill up screw in there. Get those two screws off. Um, put the door locked down. Um, Got those screws off. Got my flathead screwdriver. I'm just trying to door panels loose. Just gotta just gotta like lift it up from over. Well, first, okay. All right, hold on. This right here. Slide it back. Pull it off on this car. All right, if you look in there, get your screwdriver. Once again, I'm sorry, I don't got no cameraman, so this is my situation right now. I'm trying to do this with one hand and record with the other hand. All right, so I got, I finally got me a cameraman. All right, so I'm gonna use this flathead screwdriver right here to swivel swivel that over see once you swivel it over like that then you can go ahead and lift up on it pulls out and then right there I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this this is if you got power locks and power door windows and stuff um, all right that's gonna come out now put that aside and now we're just gonna Handle and lift up, I'm lift up over there, and 
pretty much got it loose. It's just right here in this corner. Might have to oh crap. Pop that out of place. Has these push pans back there. So right there, that's by the mirror. And the door panel is off. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing back here. We got the wiring right here that we bought from the back. We're gonna go ahead and like route it all the way up to like right right there is where you're gonna cross it over from inside the car to the door so here hold this aim it down just like that right there all right we're gonna run this wire okay let me see we're gonna run this wire into the door and then now is the part where we're gonna go and get the LED and we're gonna feed the wiring through the door handle so that it ends up inside of the door panel. All right, so we back here behind the door handle. All cars ain't like this, but my Honda is like this. If you lift up on the door handle, you'll see there's pre-drilled slots already open in there. So you don't have to drill no holes to get the wiring through. It's pre-drilled slots. We're gonna go ahead and feed the wiring right through there through this slot right here and feed the wiring through and then I'm gonna feed the wiring I don't know if you can see behind the um behind where the, the latch goes into the body work but that hole right there that where the latch goes in we're gonna feed the wiring through there and it's gonna end up inside the door panel all right so we got our LED right here and our wiring right here what I did was twisted it together so it'll be real sharp so it could fit in like the real small slot that's in there in the door handle look in there i'm gonna get a little bit closer right there yeah there you go right, you look in there you see it i'm gonna feed the wire in right through that slot right there you see that this wiring is a little bit thicker than the other wire and that's why it's a little bit harder to get through the slot but but i got it through you see that it's through the slot. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the LED all the way through. Now, this part we're gonna peel off the the tape of the LED. I don't know if y'all can see real good, but I'm peeling off the double-sided tape that's on the back of the LED. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the slot of the wiring all the way through. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount the LED on there real good. Alright, just so y'all can see that it's mounted in there really good. The wiring is through. LEDs in there. I can still get my fingers in there and open the door handle, no problem. And now we're going to feed the slack of the wiring through the gap that's in the bottom of the door handle where the hinge goes into the bodywork, which is that hole right there, right back there. All right, so that's going it's in there. All right, it's in there. Feed it all the way through, all the way. All right, we're going to come around to this side. I had to peel this down a little bit so I can get behind there and see what's going on. And you see my wiring. I got my wiring right here. And you want to make sure that you um you see the window regulator right there. You want to put it. I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to put it behind the window regulator like all the way back there. And then pull the loop out from the back because you don't want it to be in front of the window regulator because that's going to interfere. When the window goes up and down, you don't want the glass to catch it and pull your wire and loose. So run it behind this window regulator and, and pull it out from this side right here. All right, so I got all the um the slack. I got all the slack loose right here. Just know that the one with the stripe in it that's um positive from when I tested this. Um, and the other one that don't have this white stripe on it is negative. 
Um, I'm trying to, what I have to do is you see this boat right here, 10 millimeter boat. I need to ground it right there. But as you can see, it's like a couple inches um, short. So I'm going to have to wire some up some more wire and reach that. And so I got my kit right here that I use for all my wiring stuff in it. It's got zip ties and all that good stuff. And I'm going to take one of these right here. Once again, I had to strip some wires. My cameraman is gone, so I'm back to using one hand. Once you get the terminal over the wire like that, the over the stripped wire, you smash it. All right, just so y'all see how it works. I fed the wire in through and I'm smashing it. All right, it popped off of there, but it's still good. Look, just the results right here on there it's, it's real good i used my 10 millimeter to get that bolt a little bit and now i'm gonna do this right here I'm just gonna slide it right under there just like that slide it right on in there all right it's a shame it was just a couple inches short. I hate having to do all this wire and just for like a couple inches right there. We just got to connect it to this wire right here. So we're going to cut it just about. I'm going to cut it a little bit extra. Cut it right there. And then we're going to then we're going to strip the wire and off of the tip right here. And we're going to connect these two wires together. All right, so we got this, we got that. Remember, we're gonna take the one that don't have the white stripe on it. If you're if you're wiring from your LED is long enough to reach a bolt to ground it on, then you don't have to do this right here. This is just in my situation, it wasn't long enough. Plus, you don't want to pull it too tight because when people pull that door handle to open the door, you need some slack for this wire to be pulled back in whenever somebody pull the door handle. So think about that as well. But we're going to take these two wires, we're going to twist them together really good. And then remember, what do you do after that? You got to cover it up with electrical tape real good. Even though it's a ground, I still like to practice, you know, being safe, covering all exposed wiring up. You just never know what might happen. So just just that wire, I just twisted these two together. Now I'm gonna wrap it up in electrical tape real good. All right, it's all wrapped up real good in electrical tape. Now we gotta deal with this wire. This wire right here is gonna be connected to the wire that we ran from the back under there, under the panels and stuff. This wire right here, I already got it stripped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the striped wire and twist it to this wire. This wire is the one that piggybacked off of the wire that came from the trunk that was connected. All right, I decided that since this is going to have positive current flowing through the wire, I decided still twisting the wires together, I'm going to go ahead and, and use the terminals. So that, okay, I got this terminal on there, it's connected real nice and tight. The other terminal on there, female, and I'm going to go ahead and connect these two. And you still have to wrap it since these are exposed metal, got exposed metal on it. You still got to wrap it up real good with electrical tape. And since it's positive current, make extra care that you wrap it up and put it somewhere where it's not going to, the tape is not going to come off and it's not going to touch the chassis somewhere and start a fire and burn your whole car down. All right, female and male is connected, um, red and blue. Let me remind you today's Memorial Day. God bless America. All right, that wire is all wrapped up real good too. Now, the as far as right now, the turn signal should should work. I'm gonna go and test it out real quick and see what happens. Hit my flashers. Let's look. Yeah, see that in this broad daylight. So that's a lot of light. These lights, the output is way better than those flexible LED lights. Right now, 
that one shows a little bit but the other one shows way way brighter so now that we got this put together and everything's connected it's working nice and smooth we're gonna organize the wiring so that it's out of the way real good put it to where it won't interfere with opening and closing doors and um, plug everything back in the door locks plug the door panels and all that stuff that you, anything you disconnect it make sure you go in there plug it back in make sure you lift the door handle up over the lock right here and get that in place and then put the door panel back in place put the mirror theme panel back in place um, go along the sides and put this wire in Put it under the carpet or something hide it make sure ain't no wiring showing it ain't supposed to be showing um back here too and you're pretty much pretty much done it's wired up i'm g this is 21 this is another episode this is for my homies with the minders and aquas just minders and aquas that's so spectacular we got the b-tech we got iv tech take it to the drag strip and be on d -techs. this is for my so homies with the minders and aquas cause minders and aquas are so spectacular we got the b-tech we got iv tech smoking needs a central s-e-r and b-spec yeah don't be jealous cause i drive an ls i heard you talking shit at the strip with your fellas you rice out the same with some gay ass i tell us why my honda stays hot so hot like the desert I'm rolling through the block Smoking pop, bumping pop You think your ride is hot With some throwing hard pods And your APC ship knob And fake